Edge 2011 Annual Question What scientific concept would improve everybody's cognitive toolkit? Response by Eric R. Weinstein Mathematician and Economist, Managing Director of Teal Capital Kayfabe Narrated by Skeptical Waves The sophisticated scientific concept with the greatest potential to enhance human understanding may be argued to come not from the halls of academe, but rather from the unlikely research environment of professional wrestling. Evolutionary biologists Richard Alexander and Robert Trivers have recently emphasized that it is deception rather than information that often plays the decisive role in systems of selective pressures. Yet most of our thinking continues to treat deception as something of a perturbation on the exchange of pure information, leaving us unprepared to contemplate a world in which fakery may reliably crowd out the genuine. In particular, Humanity's future selective pressures appear likely to remain tied to economic theory which currently uses as its central construct a market model based on assumptions of perfect information. If we are to take selection more seriously within humans, we may fairly ask what rigorous system would be capable of tying together an altered reality of layered falsehoods in which absolutely nothing can be assumed to be as it appears. Such a system, in continuous development for more than a century, is known to exist and now supports an intricate multi-billion dollar business empire of pure hokum. It is known to wrestling's insiders as kayfabe. Because professional wrestling is a simulated sport, all competitors who face each other in the ring are actually close collaborators who must form a closed system, called a promotion, sealed against outsiders. With external competitors generally excluded, antagonists are chosen from within the promotion and their ritualized battles are largely negotiated, choreographed, and rehearsed at a significantly decreased risk of injury or death. With outcomes predetermined under kayfabe, betrayal in wrestling comes not from engaging in unsportsmanlike conduct, but by the surprise appearance of actual sporting behavior. Such unwelcome sportsmanship which breaks kayfabe is called shooting to distinguish it from the expected scripted deception called working. Were kayfabe to become part of our toolkit for the 21st century, we would undoubtedly have an easier time understanding a world in which investigative journalism seems to have vanished and bitter corporate rivals cooperate on everything from joint ventures to lobbying efforts. Perhaps confusing battles between freshwater Chicago macroeconomists and Ivy League saltwater theorists could be best understood as happening within a single orthodox promotion given that both groups suffered no injury from failing, equally, to predict the recent financial crisis. The decades-old battle in theoretical physics over bragging rights between the string and loop camps would seem to be an even more significant example within the hard sciences of a collaborative intra-promotion rivalry given the apparent failure of both groups to produce a quantum theory of gravity. What makes kayfabe remarkable is that it gives us potentially the most complete example of the general process by which a wide class of important endeavors transition from failed reality to successful fakery. While most modern sports enthusiasts are aware of wrestling's status as a pseudo-sport, What few alive today remember is that it evolved out of a failed real sport, known as catch wrestling, which held its last honest title match early in the 20th century. Typical matches could last hours with no satisfying action, or end suddenly with crippling injuries to a promising athlete in whom much had been invested. This highlighted the close relationship between two paradoxical risks which define the category of activity which wrestling shares with other human spheres. A. Occasional but extreme peril for the participants. B. General. Monotony for both audience and participants. Kayfabrication, the process of transition from reality towards kayfabe, arises out of attempts to deliver a dependably engaging product for a mass audience while removing the unpredictable upheavals that imperil participants. As such kayfabrication is a dependable feature of many of our most important systems which share the above two characteristics such as war, finance, love, politics and science. Importantly, Kayfabe also seems to have discovered the limits of how much disbelief the human mind is capable of successfully suspending before fantasy and reality become fully conflated. Wrestling system of lies has recently become so intricate that wrestlers have occasionally found themselves engaging in real-life adultery following exactly behind the introduction of a fictitious adulterous plot twist in a kayfabe backstory. Eventually, even kayfabe itself became a victim of its own success as it grew to a level of deceit that could not be maintained when the wrestling world collided with outside regulators exercising oversight over major sporting events. At the point kayfabe was forced to own up to the fact that professional wrestling contained no sport whatsoever, it did more than avoid being regulated and taxed into oblivion. Wrestling discovered the unthinkable, its audience did not seem to require even a thin veneer of realism. Professional wrestling had come full circle to its honest origins by at last moving the responsibility for deception off of the shoulders of the performers and into the willing minds of the audience. Kayfabe, it appears, is a dish best served client-side.